Hello everyone, I'm Seth with Exotic Motorsports and this is our 2002 Ford F-150 SVT Lightning with 61,762 miles. The front of this truck looks outstanding with very, very little wear. Front bumper looks awesome. It does have a few very small rock chips, but overall Given that it's a 2002 with 61,000 miles, the lack of wear on the front end is really impressive. Like I mentioned, just a few small blemishes, a few tiny little marks on the front, but it's not anything that's readily visible. You have to really hunt for it and get right up on the paint. And the fact that you have to do that with a vehicle of this age and miles is pretty incredible. Even across the front of the hood here, the uh, lack of wear is really impressive. So the front end looks great. Uh, looking at the front driver's side fender, we've got no issues there. Front driver's side fender looks great. Some lightning wheels. Uh, they're a little bit worn. They have some marks on the spokes. Some of the finish is kind of degrading a little bit. But overall, they don't look bad. If it was something that really bothered you, um, a really inexpensive powder coating job would get them back to brand new, perfect. Driver's side mirror, just a few minor rock chips, but overall looks really nice. Driver's side door, looks awesome. Touch keypad for keyless entry. Driver bedside. This is a very, very clean truck. The more I walk around it, the more impressed I am. No issues with the driver bedside whatsoever. The step even looks phenomenal. Rear driver side wheel. That wheel looks great. The finish is intact. There's no rash, scuffs, anywhere, anything like that. It looks great. Moving along to the back of the truck here. Looking at the bumper, the bumper looks really nice. No wear on that at all. And typically on most vehicles, especially trucks, that uh, area is a really high traffic, high wear area. Here on the face of the tailgate, we do have a few imperfections in the top left of the tailgate, but they're super hard to see. They're paint matched very well, and you have to get extremely close to really see the defects on it. Otherwise, it looks great. Um, similar story kind of here in the middle. It looks like there might have been a few scratches that were paint matched, but they were done so well uh, that I seriously almost just watched, walked past them. Same here on the bed cover, ARE lockable bed cover. So we've got a few just very, very, very tiny, hard to see imperfections on the tailgate, which I think is a more than reasonable expectation. Uh, here on the passenger bedside, we do have a scratch there. But otherwise, bedside looks good. Very nice Flowmaster exhaust. This truck sounds so good, and you will hear it when I start it up. Rear passenger wheel looks really nice. Does have just a few blemishes on it. Not perfect, but overall looks pretty good. Passenger door. The door itself looks excellent. Unfortunately, here on the passenger mirror, uh, we do have some markings across it on the side, and then it does have a scuff. So close to perfect, but I'm sure a little bit of paint work, somebody who knows what they're doing would be able to get that looking right in no time. Front passenger fender looks excellent. Tiny little chip above the lightning emblem and the front passenger wheel uh, finish is kind of fading a little bit, a little bit discolored. Um, no rash or chips or anything like that, just a little bit of compromised clear coat perhaps. So I will go ahead and walk around the truck from a one foot distance to give you a better big picture idea of the overall condition of the truck here at Exotic Motorsports. We do these comprehensive walk around videos for our out-of-state buyers to give them the peace of mind and confidence they need to purchase a vehicle from a sight unseen if they choose to do so. 
walking around the truck from a one foot distance is a lot more indicative of what you might notice on a day-to-day -day basis if you were to own the vehicle yourself and help separate the not so obvious small defects from the obvious big defects to give you a better well-rounded perspective of the overall condition of the vehicle. This truck, in my opinion, doesn't have any large glaring defects and from a foot to two feet away looks completely perfect. Maybe save for the passenger side mirror. That might be the only thing that you could really spot. This is a really good looking Lightning. Trucks like these are few and far between. Moving to the interior, it only gets better. Gray and black interior. Here in the door panel, we do have a little bit of fading there. Here on the top, I can't tell if that's sun bleached or what exactly has occurred there, um, but the color does not match up here on the, um, I can't tell if this is leather or like a plastic. It feels like a really hard leather. Um, on this black insert portion here in the middle though, this is in super good condition. All the markings for the buttons are intact. Everything works as it should. Lower portion of the door panel also looks flawless. Black lightning floor mats. The seating looks great. Bench seat with a folding center console slash cup holder. Uh, it does have power adjustable uh, seats as well. Actually, this is not a typical bench seat because the driver's seat is detached and does have power controls. So you can adjust the seat independently, which I think is an awesome feature. Turn key. Starts right up, no issues. Everything looks good. It's starting to get a little dark outside. Let me go ahead and turn the headlights on. There we go, dash lights up. No warning lights, no issues, anything like that. All the back lighting works. Everything looks good. And as I mentioned, all the buttons and everything look really good on the inside. Auto one touchdown window for the driver's side. Standard power window for the passenger side. Let some light in here so you can see things a little better. Dash looks great. Very clean dash with no fading, no wear, or anything like that. Rear view mirror looks good. Outside temp display and compass. Far passenger seat looks really good. The, uh, the interior on this truck, except for that small portion on the driver's side door panel, looks amazing. And I'm sure um, that small portion could very easily be touched up because it's a small strip. It's literally just this top section right here. And all it takes is a little bit of dye, a very cheap and quick process, and that will look fantastic. Does have hood struts, my favorite thing. Okay, not my favorite thing, but it's a really good idea to have hood struts instead of an archaic hood prop. It's just inconvenient and uh, it sucks. So uh, this truck does have a supercharged 5.4 liter V8 engine paired with a four speed automatic. See it there, 5.4 is supercharged. The supercharger is very noisy. It makes a lot of whiny noises, which makes driving this truck so much fun. It sounds so good, especially with the Flowmaster exhaust. It's very aggressive. It's not raspy, it's not ear splitting. It's not gonna wake up your whole neighborhood but it definitely lets people know that you got some power under your hood. And the Lightning to me, well, before we get into my personal opinion, I will say the truck idles very smooth. Um, it feels very healthy, goes through the gears uh, very smoothly. The transmission doesn't shift hard or do anything crazy. Uh, it's a very, very smooth ride. And it, it just, it feels really healthy. Um, so this, this platform I think is really, really cool because it's in an early 2000s truck, so you still get the nostalgia of the early 2000s, but it's a performance truck with a, uh, with a big blower 
on a relatively large displacement V8, and I think that's just so cool. Uh, this truck is so much fun to drive. It makes great sounds, and everyone knows what this is when you drive it around. It does have that very iconic look, um, especially with uh, this car, you know, being featured in Fast and Furious, or truck, I apologize. So the exhaust sounds great, the supercharger sounds great, and it's still practical to drive. You still have the, the whole bed in the back to move things if you need to. This is just a really cool blast from the past vehicle. So that is our 2002 Ford F-150 SVT Lightning. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out. Check out our sales listing on our website at exoticmotorsportsok.com. Thank you for watching.